Hey friends and fiends, uh, this is Pixie back with a quick vlog, 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 vlog thing. Um, and I'm going to try not to move too much because I couldn't be bothered to find my big tripod so I basically just wobbled the camera on, cut on top of a couple of boxes on my bed. So, uh, yeah. So, I was hoping that the next video I would do would be like... I said I wasn't going to move and here I am already flailing. Um, also, please excuse this and these. It's really cold. Um, anyway, yeah, the, the, I was hoping that the next vlog I would do would be celebrating, you know, getting the book onto Amazon. Amazon are still, still haven't got back to me. So we're still waiting on that. Um, but I thought I would check in because I have not made any content or any description in so long and so I apologise if I look a mess and my room is a mess and my skin is a mess and my hair is a mess and my life is a mess but um, such is life. Um, I thought I would finally get around to telling you guys the rather bizarre story that I came across um, in, first of all in November when I first launched the website uh, eclairbooks.com um, and this was during the American elections, this was before America decided to uh, make its president elect the world for tallest Oompa Loompa um, so, in order, in a uh, celebration, commiseration of the inauguration, inauguration, that was a bad pun, I'm sorry, um, I thought I would, uh, tell this little story about, um, a, a, it's a, the strange tale of a Russian hacker, a Russian pro-Trump hacker who was spamming my website among many, 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 many others. Um, so, way back in November when I first launched the site, I suddenly noticed I was getting a lot of hits that were coming from Russia. And my initial thought was, um, this is on looking on Google Analytics. If you don't know what Google Analytics is, it's Google's fancy suite of programs that look at um, where hits are coming to you and who is looking at your website and where they're coming from so where in the world again uh, sudden jump in quality because my battery on my main camera went out <laughs> um, also the thing in the background that's glowing um, that looks like a mutant brain that's my lava lamp it's just warming up um, <laughs> I realise that looks really odd. Anyway, um, so where was I in my tale of tales? Um, so yeah, um, Google Analytics is a useful tool that tells you who's looking at your website, basically. And I noticed I was getting a lot of hits from Russia, and I was thinking, I don't have any internet friends in Russia. I have internet friends in many, many places, um, and, you know, I was getting a hit from, say, someone in Australia, or that I know who that is, I'm okay, getting a couple of hits from uh, Germany or um, Holland and like I know who those might be um, but hit, masses and masses of hits from Russia like a huge percentage coming from Russia and first of all I thought well that's quite weird um, then I had a look down at the um, the sources so um, where Google is telling you that it's coming from. Um, and um, what came up, and I will post a, I will cut in a little screenshotty of it. Um, what came up was a um, secret google.com um, click here for hidden something or other, uh, vote for Trump. And I thought, hmm. Um, surprise, surprise, I don't like Mr. Trump very much, um, and not many of my friends like Mr. Trump very much. Funnily enough, um, we here in Europe are a little bit, uh, uh, 
less trustworthy of far right people. Unfortunately, increasingly less um, than we used to be, but uh, people's memories are quite short, but not that short. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting a little political. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know any pro-Trump people at all. At least, um, no, even the most right-wing people I know do not like Trump. So, yeah, um, and I thought that sounded dodgy as fuck. Obviously I didn't click on the link, because I'm not an idiot, but I did do a little Google search because I was curious. Um, and I came up with a bunch of tech blogs, basically this guy, um, this magical Russian hacker had been spamming a lot of web, well he's probably not even really a hacker, but um, uh, th this particular website had been spamming huge numbers of different um, websites. Um, Big sites, little sites, small business, big, big business, and everywhere in between. And some of the tech blogs had been looking into this. Um, I will put a link to the ones I initially found, and then I found a few more more recently. Vice, um, Vice's motherboard blog have done one in the beginning of December. I can't remember the name of the website that did the initial one that I read, but I will put a linky -dee, dee down there in, in the comment section uh, description. That's the word. I'll put that down there. And um, I'll put it on here somewhere as well. Um, so yeah, they had looked a little bit further. And um, when I initially looked at the google.com secretgoogle.com think it didn't look right um there's something weird about the g and again i will cut in here uh, now if you notice that g doesn't look like the normal google g uh turns out what that is is the uh, latin script small capital G uh, Unicode I can't remember but again I'll put it on the screen as a caption um, and what this person had done was taken that um, character that's the word character um, and had registered Google or that character google.com <laughs> Um, and had started his little spam campaign from there. And I do say his because I uh, found out more recently, this is all one guy. This is a guy who's apparently quite proud of this. Um, his name is Vitaly Popov, which is the most Russian name. <laughs> I'm sorry, the most Russian name. <laughs> Um, apparently he decided he had some beef with Google, he didn't like their AdSense or whatever. Um, um, Vice in their motherboard article, which again will be down in the description, um, um, managed to get an email response from him. He sounds like he's quite proud of it. He said he, it was revenge on Google um, and that he liked Trump so he thought he would uh, spam everyone on the planet with the bloke's name. Um, so um, it, by the looks of it a lot of tech blogs have been dealing with this guy. Um, if you're interested in, if you yourself are getting these spammy things a lot. Um, there's another article down in the com um, I keep calling it comment description box down down below, um, which is really good um, about how to um, hide those from the, your analytics um, and how to get um, hope well maybe block them completely? I don't know. Um, they've definitely stopped showing up in my analytics since I've been poking around with that. Um, so I'm not sure whether I'm stopping them altogether, but you know what? 
as long as they don't crash my site, which um, uh, I don't think this guy is that interested in. Um, 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 the only thing is, you know, it's kind of disheartening when you you look at your uh, stats and you think, oh, look, look at all these new hits. Oh, they're a spam block. Um, so yeah, it turns out spammers are have a new way of inundating you with crap <laughs> um, um and that is well i say new it's it's new to me um this guy is by far not the first person to do it but he's done it a lot and for one person it's almost impressive terrifying um and impressive uh, initially i assumed that it was some you know covert russian hacker collective or something um i didn't realize it was one guy um so yeah that is the weird oh mm, i'm done um the 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 article that i was talking about the initial one um also followed this through to the uh link that mr popov uh created and I will put, I, I will put another screenshot with that wall of text if that wall of text looks familiar to you but you can't place why um, imagine uh, those words um, then paste over the top some uh, check out uh, cashier point noises and a bluesy 1970s era guitar riff because that is the opening few lines from Pink Floyd's Money from the <laughs> Dark Side of the Moon album. Mr. Popov apparently thinks Google is getting his money? I don't understand. Um, I've not managed to work out what's actually on this site because I'm not dumb enough to follow that link and by the sounds of it none of these tech blogs are either. Um, I was hoping I'd find someone who had ha had a look on it but Um, there are other spammers that do a similar thing and there's not actually anything interesting on their website so a little anticlimactic but yeah that is the tale of Mr Popov and his extraordinary pro-Trump spamming campaign. Um, I will be back with more videos that are hopefully on my better camera once I've charged back up. Uh, very soon I hope and as soon as I hear anything from Amazon about the bloody book I will let you know um, so see you soon my friends my fiends um, solidarity America I'm so sorry